Recently, Review Tech USA did a video. Sorry about that, guys. But like I said, Review Tech USA did a video a couple of days ago about net neutrality. We haven't really talked about that in a while. And here's the first major channel I know of that I'm subscribed to that's been talking about it lately. And what he talked about was the fact that the house, which is basically, if you want to think about it, 90% or 75% Democratic, 25% Republican, uh, basically voted and passed a Save the Net Act or Save Net Neutrality Act to, kind of ba to basically preserve net neutrality and restore it. Now, that sounds good and everything, but according to Rich, I think that's his name, what he said in his video was, even though that sounds good, the other parts won't. Because, yes, the House passed it, but now it's got to go to the Senate, which is basically the opposite of the House, which is 75% Republican, 25% Democrat. And then, even if it successfully finds a way to pass that, it's got to go to Trump, and he doesn't believe Trump will sign it. Now, that might be all true. That remember, this is an opinionated. Remember, this is opinionated from from Rich of Review Tech. This is very opinionated, and you know, he might be right. He might be right in the long run that basically what will happen happen is it'll go to the Senate and it may not pass and the House may have to come up with something else. The fact of the matter is, guys, that no matter what happens, net neutrality is going to be preserved. It will be restored. It's just going to take a lot more effort. And I'll be honest with you right now. I don't know if you've noticed it, but I've noticed it a little bit in my opinion. In my opinion, I've noticed it um, in my own way. But it seems that lately there's been a bit of a slow up. Very, very. Uh, I'll put it this way: the slow up has been barely noticeable, but you can definitely tell something's up. Like something's taking a little bit longer than it should. So it is kind of happening, but not. Not no, not very noticeably, but just barely noticeably. And maybe now, maybe the cable companies are just doing maintenance in their area, in these areas, and that's why it's slowing up. Maybe the upgrading, we don't know. But from what I can tell, it seems that they're trying to maybe try to test what they can get away with. That's what I'm noticing. But I think what's happening is because it has bumped up a little bit more. You know, in other words, it's gotten better. What I've noticed, what I'm thinking happened is some people probably noticed this on their ends and they'll probably call it up saying, hey, wait a minute, something's not right here. So, yeah, it's kind of like they're trying to test the waters and see if maybe they can do it without people noticing. But we are noticing, even if it is barely noticeable. But again, the reason I bring this up is because, you know, just because maybe what Rich is saying could come to pass, you know, doesn't mean it's the end. You have a lot of groups out there, lobbyists and all that, that are going to fight for net neutrality. This is why a lot of the ISPs have yet to really persuade this, or pursue this, I should say. Because they know sooner, or because they know the sooner they do it, that's when a lot of these companies and associations and lobbyists and groups and whatnot are going to be on them. And basically, the overall Congress, the House, the Senate, you name it, they know that's, they know that's a fact as well. That even if the ISPs try to start implementing what they want, a lot, of, a lot of corporations, groups, associations, what have you, are going to be on their butts quicker than you know what. And that's why, that's why 
when this act goes to the Senate, there could be a good chance that Republicans, the Republican Party there, may vote in favor of it. Because they know that if they don't, that what's going to happen is a lot of these groups are going to go to court, are going to take them to court, take them to the Supreme Court, point out the evidence that shows that there's nothing wrong and nothing needs to change, change, change and everything, and that because of that, sooner or later, the Senate, whether they want it, want it or not, are going to have their hands forced into making it, making net neutrality restored, or keeping net neutrality around. That's what's going to happen. And here's another thing you have to realize. Right now, the Republicans are dealing with a lot of pressure because of the fact that the Democrats and those associated with them, the independents and all that, are starting to come after Trump and are starting to try to dig into any kind of information they could find to get Trump out of office, or if not, prevent him from winning the election or re-election next year, or going for 2020. That, that is what they're trying to prevent. And right now, because they have this whole shamel on the plate, if you will, the last thing they need is to be taken to court because of some stupid idea that a lot of fans, a lot of people look at as something that should have never been, and that's trying to take away net neutrality. So, I look at it this way. Rich, if you're listening... You might be right in what could happen, but then again, you also got to look at the fact that Congress, mostly the Republicans, are dealing with a lot of crap right now that the last thing they're going to want is to go to the Supreme Court. I mean, they're probably heading that way, they're probably heading in that direction as we speak with this whole Trump situation, and you know, the border crisis, the taxes, and all that. The last thing they need to happen, or the last thing they need to happen, is to be taken to the Supreme Court for restoration of net neutrality because everything that people have pointed out in groups, corporations, associations, you know, even Congre even the House representatives and the Senate representatives have pointed out, Congress representatives have pointed out, out, out saying that. What is being told to you, what's being sold to you, is BS. That's the last thing they need. So I look at it this way. Someone, I look at it this way, and I pray someone on the Republican side realizes this is the last thing they need to put them in the doghouse. What they have to do, in the, you know, in the doghouse, I'm praying somebody realizes, you know what, let's just restore it, be done with it, and maybe we can come up with something in the future that can be a better compromise instead of being a flat out, you know, train wreck like this has become. That's the way it looks, that's, that's what I believe should, I believe and I hope will happen, is someone's going to open their eyes and say, you know what, Let's just pass this damn thing. Excuse my language, God. But let's just pass this damn thing and be done with it. Let them have their net neutrality. And maybe in the future we can come up with a better compromise. That's, that's how I think it's going. That's how I think, that's how I think, if not believe, things are going to go down. You know, you may not believe me or anything on... On what I just said, but this like with, but just like with Rich at Review Tech USA, it's just an opinion. You know, he feels that yes, the bill and the bill and the act passed the House, but the Senate is another story. And even if it goes through the Senate and passes that, Trump is another story. But I think there's a lot of other factors that are going to play into the favoritism the favoritism of net neutrality being restored.
So let me know what you guys think though down below. Comment if you like. I'd like to hear from you and I'll talk to y'all later.